The Senate today passed a bill that prohibits college professors from compelling a student to adopt certain beliefs. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick is touting this passage as a ban of critical race theory in public universities. Fox Antonio's Matt Roy has the other side to this proposed ban. Texas senators voted along party lines today, passing Senate Bill 16 with a vote of 18 to 12. We want to make sure that our institutions are where ideas are open and there are discussions and exchanges, but not where students are compelled or, or, or attempted to be compelled to take a particular position. Mineola Republican Brian Hughes is the bill's sponsor. He says it's imperative that professors do not compel students to believe what they believe but stop short of saying this is a ban on CRT. Are you saying that a professor cannot teach critical race theory? Those are what we're saying. In a statement, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick said it is, saying in part, this session there was no question that we would ban the teaching of CRT in Texas universities. Liberal professors determined to indoctrinate our students with their woke brand of revisionist history have gone too far. Critics of the bill, though, say it's too vague and will have a chilling effect on the academic freedom in universities. We are actually stripping higher education of those critical examinations. We're stripping students of the opportunity to learn to think critically. To say that a teacher shouldn't teach a particular text or a particular ideology is uh, limiting what our students can learn. UTSA professor Jasmine Harris says hampering academic freedom will hurt recruiting to top universities in Texas too. It will likely scare off those high level faculty that schools like UTSA and UT Austin are trying to attract from across the country. Matt Roy, Fox News at 9.